It was a day not unlike any other, sitting around waiting for the next new game to roll in. But this old cat has seen it all. Nothing surprises me anymore. It's just the same handful of games recycled with a different name on a different day. Business as usual. I was about to cap off the night when I got the call. Chicken police. Never heard of them. This was just the adventure I was looking for. It's your classic point and click, but with a twist. Animal people. And a rich story in a classic film noir setting. Fully voiced. Over eight hours worth of professional, quality spoken dialogue. Believe me, Mr. Featherland, it's not an accident I came to you. Look, miss, I work for the police and I'm currently on leave. I couldn't accept private commissions even if I wanted to. Not even from a classy dame like you. A satisfying interrogation system, cinematic cutscenes, and a soundtrack to die for. Take control of the detective duo, Sonny Featherland and Marty McChicken, more famously known as the Chicken Police. So what if it's been almost a decade since their glory days? Sonny's not completely off his rocker yet. He's only a semi-alcoholic wreck. Marty here still hides behind that facade of a star detective. But the reputations of the chicken police haven't died off yet. And wouldn't you know it, this dame, real easy on the eyes, shows up with a case that's weirder and more wild than anything they've ever encountered before. Kitsenko thinks you're a great detective, and you're also reliable. That's why I came. I honestly wasn't expecting much from this game at first glance, but I'm actually really enjoying it. The game has some interesting characters where their animal traits are emphasized and we see plenty of animal puns. The setting will have you thinking about what things might be like in their world, you know, when they start talking about mingling with predators or prey. It channels the mood and atmosphere of the 40s film noir classics using a blend of real photography mixed with 3D rendered backgrounds. Front and center we have a point and click adventure game with a detective story and some cynical humor. There are lots of clues, information, and collectibles to uncover in over 30 places to visit, and the interactables in each scene can change several times throughout the story. Each place is surprisingly detailed you can scroll the screen left or right, and you can even zoom in to get a closer look. Occasionally, you'll find the need to interrogate someone, so you'll have to get a read on their personality and choose appropriate questions to extract as much information as you can out of them and hope they aren't just clucking with you. The game will score you right afterwards, so you'll know if you need to improve your interrogation tactics for next time. I really can't emphasize how much I appreciate the voice acting in this game. And it is 100% voiced. Not just what the characters are saying, but your internal monologue as well. Even though I could read faster than the voices, I was tempted to keep listening rather than skip to the next dialogue because I wanted to hear every pronunciation and accent in the voices. But don't let the cute animal faces fool you. The dialogue is pretty gritty, f-bombs will be dropped occasionally. And there are some rather graphic scenes. It's a murder mystery detective game after all. To step alone into something hauntingly familiar. Only one tactic remained, as the old dogs say. 
The original soundtrack is a masterful smooth jazz journey through time and fiction. If you are into point-and-click adventures or detective stories, I recommend this one. It was actually a lot of fun. Even if you're not into the anthropomorphic animal characters, uh, it's still a really interesting story and there's a lot to do here. Anyway, this has been Chicken Police Paint It Red. It is available this month on Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation 4, Mac, and PC. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Until next time, I will see you later.